everyone. Happy Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Now this week we are going to talk about being prepared. And do you know what it means to be prepared? It means to be ready. So in order to get you thinking about being ready and prepared, I want to show you this video because this shows you what happens when you're not <clears throat> um, Victor? Uh, what is it, Ada? I'm very busy. You and Monty are supposed to be making the banner. The banner for... To welcome the bishop? Pastor Pete asked us to help with the welcome ceremony. Ah, well then I will get right on that. Victor, please! The bishop is extremely busy and could visit our church any time. Today, tomorrow, or next week. We need to be ready. <sighs> All right. And what would this banner say, pray tell? Welcome, Bishop. You sound really good, Otto. You too, Clara. The bishop is going to love her duet. Let's keep practicing, though. Okay. Look at those overachieving achievers, Montgomery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, should we be doing something? <sighs> All in good time, Montgomery. All in good time. <sighs> oh, no! Monty, how long has Victor been asleep? Ten hours. Victor! <gasps> You'll never take me alive! Victor, please. Pastor Pete is counting on us, and you haven't even started the banner, and I... Adelita, you said it yourself. We have no idea when the bishop is coming, so what's the rush? That's the point, Victor! The bishop could show up right now! Not likely. <laughs> <gasps> the bishop's here! Ada, you gotta help us with the banner! I can't help you now! I'm the master of ceremonies! <laughs> Montgomery, we've got to finish this banner! Now! Aye, aye, Kevin! And now, to welcome the bishop, we have prepared some special music. Paint, Monty! Paint like you've never painted before! I haven't! All things considered, I think that went pretty well. Yeah. Imagine how well it could have gone if you'd actually been prepared. Low blow, Ada. Low blow. Yikes. So Victor and Monty were in no rush to get that sign done. And what was the end result of that? They ended up hanging from the church rafters with a sign that wasn't even complete. So I want you to picture this. If you were Victor or Monty, and you had the job of making a sign, and the bishop shows up, and you didn't even start the sign, how would you feel? Well, I know that I would be I'd be a wreck. I'd be scrambling around, trying to figure out how I'm going to get the job done, knowing full well that I wouldn't be able to get it done. I would be anxious. Now, if you were one of the other children that were prepared, how do you think you'd feel about the arrival of the bishop? 
you'd probably just be happy and excited. So that's what this lesson's about this week. Jesus is telling us that we always need to be prepared. Now remember, Jesus lived a very, very long time ago. So there was no electricity and there was no flashlights. So they used little clay lamps, which they filled with olive oil and they needed the oil for the lamp to work. So I want you to keep that in mind as I tell you the story, okay? So let's start our Bible reading. So our lesson today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, and I'm starting at the 25th verse, and I'm using the Spark Story Bible. So if you wanna follow along with me, I'm on page 314, and the name of our lesson is called Ten Bridesmaids. Jesus told a story about getting ready. Ten bridesmaids ran down the road, holding their lamps to light the way. The groom is coming, they shouted excitedly. But the groom was late, and they had to wait and wait. We're so tired, said the bridesmaids. Ten bridesmaids closed their eyes. Later there was a shout. He's here! Five bridesmaids jumped up and poured oil in their lamps to keep them burning. But the other five bridesmaids forgot to bring extra oil for their lamps. Give us some of your oil, they told the first five. Sorry, there's not enough for everyone, they replied. Five happy bridesmaids, the ones with the extra oil, ran down the road to the wedding, leaving the, fat, the five sad bridesmaids who couldn't go. Jesus said, I'm coming to meet you again. Be ready for me to come, whenever it may be. So what does this lesson mean for us? Does it mean that we should all walk around with lamps and extra oil? No. What it means is that we as Christians always need to be prepared. So how do we make sure that we're prepared? What should we be doing? And I think that if we look at Jesus and we use him as an example, that we'd be going on the right path. Um, Jesus loved God very, very much, and God was a priority. He was the priority. And he loved others, and he helped others, and he was kind to others. So if we are living a life like that every day, then we're prepared. We're doing what God wants us to do. I think it's time to close with our prayer. So let's put our hands together and bow our heads. Dear Lord, please help us to be like the lamps with the extra oil in today's lesson. Help us to be bright lights in this world and help us to remember the importance of always being prepared. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me this week. Now, it's your job to continue being kind and awesome, and I will see you all next time. Take care. God bless.